Hey water signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for February the 18th, 2020. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. What guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, Cancer, we have God of Spiritual Healing. It, it says an aspect of you or a situation in your life is in need of healing. All right. What messages or guidance do we have? Messages or guidance for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages or guidance do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 18th. All right. So we got two. I thought that was my cat jumped over there because they've been doing some crazy stuff today. We have Angel of Clearing. It says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. We also have God of Reflection. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. Okay. So let's see what messages we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages for guidance do we have? All right, Pisces, we have Angel of Emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge, okay? The underlying message we have for all of my water signs is Goddess of Nature. It says you reap what you sow and your dream is coming into fruition. Just like I say all the time, hopefully you sown some good seeds. So you got some good dreams and not no nightmares, all right? So let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February the 18th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? This is for February the 18th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? This is for February the 18th, 2020. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Nine of Wands, who had this? I think Fire Signs had this. Um, Nine of Wands here with the Page of Wands here. I feel like you're being persistent. Um, six of Pentacles here. So I do feel like you have an opportunity to balance some things out within your foundation. Six of Pentacles, most definitely. Uh, with the Page of Cups here, this could be dealing with someone new. Um, you could be dealing with a child. Could also be dealing with the inspirations you have with inside of yourself. With the Four of Swords here and your surrounding energy, you could be retreating from a situation. Should, could be going within yourself, being in alignment with your own thoughts, finding stability around your thoughts. Or because it's on the external, this could be someone doing this to you. With the Page of Swords here, there could be some changes or delays um could also be dealing with some challenging information devil card here so for a lot of you guys either you're dealing with a capricorn or you're dealing with a low vibration type of situation something that could be keeping you by bound you may be in a space of needing to break these chains um in order for you to be able to free yourself from a situation six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here and you definitely have a sword right under here so i do feel like for a lot of you guys the delay may be your own fear in breaking away from something that is keeping you bound. Hey, man, here with three of wands. I feel like you're in suspension right now, trying to have patience to have an opportunity to balance something out. Four of swords here, underlying energy. You need to be in alignment with letting go of control of a situation. Strength card in reverse. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may need to find the strength to change your perspective and have patience for something to balance out instead of being in alignment with trying to force something to balance out right now. So with the Page of Cups here, why is this Page of Cups here? Could be dealing with some inspirations, could also be carrying your emotions on your back here, which could create a burden. Six Pentacles here, Ten Cups here. So some of you guys, I feel like you're taking an opportunity here. Knight of Swords, Hierophant, moving into a relationship or moving away from a relationship. I'm not sure if you're moving into one or moving away from one. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're kind of taking a leap of faith here to try to balance something out. I don't know if you're letting go of control and moving into something else that is balanced, which is good. But with the Four of Swords and Devil card here, you, if it's something that's causing like restriction in your life, you may need to remove yourself from that. Why is this Four of Swords here? Why is this Four of Swords here? We got the Six of Cups here. We got a lot of Sixes here. So this is definitely about bringing balance to a situation. Seven of Cups here with the Ace of Wands. I feel like you have an opportunity here. But Seven of Pentacles here, Empress, Nine of Wands, 
with the nine of swords. I feel like you got to master your own anxiety in order to allow a situation to flourish or allow a situation to grow. So if you're in your head about something, it won't be able to flourish because you're going to be questioning, questioning it every step of the way. You need to remove the confusion, release past situations and focus on moving toward a new type of energy for yourself. Page of swords here. Why is this page of swords here? We have the Ten of Swords, yes. So there's a delay in embracing the end of a difficult partnership here. Nine Pentacles here. I feel like the delay is Five Swords here, Eight of Cups. Some of you guys feel like it may be an unwise choice to walk away from something that you've invested in. Um, that is what's delaying you here. So you're having negative or fear-based thoughts that is keeping you in a space of not being able to resist the end of difficulties. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, so let's see why this double card is here. So we have the Hierophant here with the Two of Cups here and the King of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, now if you're dealing with a fire sign or you're dealing with some of you guys, you may be making an unwise decision. I feel like you need to find, if you're rushing into a relationship, you may need to slow it down. Um, You may not, someone may not be showing you, or you may not be showing someone your true colors. And I'm only saying that because I have a fire sign here and there's a fire sign that I read in the fire sign reading that was possibly moving into something, but I feel like the person they were moving into it with may, may not have been showing true colors. This is either you or them. If you're moving with the fire sign, someone isn't showing their true colors, um, maybe moving off of impulse here. But the reason why someone's not showing true colors is because they're having a lot of negative and fear-based thoughts about the connection. I feel like with this Five of Swords here and the Justice, you really need to, Queen of Cups, you need to be in the space of really making sure that you're making a good decision for yourself. Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like some of you guys may be delaying the end now this is one of two ways either you're in a karmic connection right now something that is low vibration that is an interference and you're very much delaying the end of that partnership because you don't want to be single and that you need to re-question or re-evaluate your motives as to why you're keeping something that is binding you but for others of you you might be impulsively moving into a new connection that may not be within the highest vibration it could be a Lust based connection. Um, I feel like it's lust based because with the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands, this is sex. So I feel like it's a lust based connection and I feel like it's something that is going to create a situation that you feel stuck in. So you most definitely need to reevaluate why you are rushing into a connection. Um, is it because you don't want to be single? You don't want to be alone? Make sure that you're making the appropriate decisions for yourself. Stand strong and really be in alignment with keeping balance in your life, like keeping things balanced, not just moving into something because you feel like it will help balance out a situation. You have to be balanced within yourself initially or before you move into any other situation. So let's see what messages we have. Truth here. See the truth of the situation first. What messages do we have? messages what guidance do we have for cancer scorpio pisces sun moon rising venus all right so i feel like for a lot of you guys you do need to kind of allow it to grow before you just jump into something what guidance do we have for cancer sun moon rising and venus what messages what guidance all right cancer we have two so we have truth and devotion you need to be devoted to the truth of a situation and not just White Buffalo Calf Woman is about, that's a, that's a myth. That's about an illusion. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's not about committing or just having something that looks good on the external just to have. It's about being devoted to the truth and allowing yourself to keep yourself balanced in moving forward in that truth. What messages do we have for Pisces? Moon rising. All right. I mean, well, Pisces, we have ambition and generosity. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about you just, you know, just doing it. Nike is about, you know, taking the ambition, doing it and being generous with yourself. I feel like this is about allowing something to end and transform so that you can really move forward 
Um, so f I feel like it's a mixture of the two for my water signs. Some of you guys are holding on to a situation that may not be the best for you. Some of you guys are jumping into a situation that could possibly turn into something that is toxic. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have creative spark here. So I do feel like for Scorpio, you're very much in the space of having this spark of enlightenment within your life. All of my water signs, right now you need to use your wisdom. You need to use the, you need to use the knowledge that you've learned from previous situations and allow yourself to evolve into situations. Don't rush it. So this is all I have. Until next time, peace.